Okay, I've got a special foot taping for you today with our beloved ex-physio Fran here, meaning Fran, you might remember from some videos prior, who used to work in our clinic, she has gone and done a fracture in her foot of the cuboid and calcaneal joint. Now, this happened falling down the stairs, tripping down the stairs, and her foot went into plantar flexion and inversion. Now, most of the time, you're going to sprain the ankle. What she's gone and done, that ankle is fine. She's had an ultrasound scan, it's absolutely fine. What's happened is she's ruptured, well, done an avulsion fracture of the ligament between the two bones. The two bones, what I mean are, this is your calcaneus and your cuboid sits in here. See that bone in there? There's ligaments that go between the two and she's gone and not torn the ligament, the ligament has gone and done a rupture of the bone there, which is an avulsion fracture. So that's made it really unstable. So this part of the foot is gonna be really unstable when she walks and it hurts, right? There's a lot of swelling, we've got rid of that, and now she needs to be able to have it stabilized. Now it's not bad enough for a boot, so she needs support when she's walking because when every now and again when she twists like that, it's gonna hurt and it's gonna stop it healing. So if you think of what we're trying to do is, here's your calcaneus in here, right? And your cuboid, this is just roughly, your cuboid is like a sort of rock like that. Think of the ligaments coming in here, okay? Now on the scan, she's gone and sort of pulled this one and done some damage in the bone, like a fracture here. Now, what that's gonna mean is those two points are gonna to separate too much, okay? So when, that's why she doesn't like going into this movement because it'll open it up. So what we're gonna try and do is we need to tape it to hold these two together. Now, the easiest way of doing that is bring the tape up so I am taping her cuboid to keep it up. So when she ever does movement of inversion work like that, when she lands and plants her foot, okay? She's not getting any movement here, not separating those two, so it ends up healing properly. Otherwise, it's always gonna keep being sore and she's gonna to start getting some serious weakness going on in there if we don't stabilize it. So the good thing about these is when they're little avulsion fractures like that, you don't really have to fully, well, she doesn't have to be fully booted because she has minimal pain walking, so only on certain movements, and you can just, all you need to do is stabilize one segment. So. What we're going to do, we're going to put a bit of underwrap under that because I want her wearing this for you know, three or four days. And you know, if you just put this on the skin for three or four days, it tends to get a little bit of manky. So a nice little barrier like this is going to help her. And so if we go, this is going to tape is going to be in the exact region where I'm going to tape her. Okay, so we're just going to put it under her foot under her arch like that. Okay, we only need one strip of that because that's exactly where we're taping. We're taping the whole cuboid and keeping it up. We don't have to worry about too much about sort of the joint line too much. We just want to keep the cuboid from separating away from here. So, this is where this tape is going to come in super handy. This is a rigid sports tape. You've probably seen this before, very familiar with ankles. So, what I want to do the direction is going from the inside of the foot to the outside, okay? So I want to make sure I can actually include her fifth net as well because that will give me a little bit of traction in there. So I can come up here, keep her in a bit of neutral and a bit of dorsiflexion. You okay with that? Yep. Put a bit of load on and then lock it off into there. Keep that pressure on there and then I'll just rip that one off if I can, tie that up later. Okay, you're all good with that. Yep. Think about this one, I've got to be careful they don't cut in here too much and cause too much sort of pressure build up in here which gives us some pain. But you know, she's not obviously not running on this. This is to try and keep her one pain free when she's walking, but two, also you know, stop that or minimize the joint movement. It naturally moves there, but we're just sort of acting like a big ligament. Remember, the ligament is the one that's sort of been compromised, so she's lost her stability. We're just basically reinforcing that and giving her gaining stability. So the first type of taping is going to be this. This is our trial one for her to see like, okay, trial that taping, see how it goes. What we may do, I'm just gonna put another one on, is reinforce that even more. So if we have to get to the point where 
we're putting tape this way and the direction of the ligament and trying to come around and really taping the foot up. I'll show you that. But the first we want to do is minimal taping as we can because we don't want to completely lock this up. We want active movement for rehab. We just want her to be stable. So again, I'm just going to wrap that up again. Come up into here, hold into a little bit of dorsiflexion and tighten it up. Yeah, okay with that. Yep. So I'm using the top part of the foot as a bit of an anchor into there. Okay, just let that relax again for me. So when she goes in inversion, see I can't really pull her any more than that now. So she's, she's limited in her range, which is perfect because I don't want that bone going downwards. So that is her minimal taping. Like I said, we would add on more. So adding on more would basically be coming around the calcaneus as well but the most important would be going in the direction of the ligament. So if she finds that is not enough, what we can do is do it this way, is come around the back of that heel from the inside, from the medial side here, and we're going to come right onto the front of the foot. So we're gonna cross over that ligament, come right over and act like a splint, okay? So that movement there, That taping there, I should say, is going to act like an extra ligament. This is just a rough job to show you what I'm going to do. And I double that up. Of course, we put some white underwrap underneath that. But this one is just going to give her that sort of exact replication of what the ligament does. Okay, I'll just come over that. I'll do that again. And we're going to trial that if she needs it. And what that'll do is just think of like, okay, that's acting like a big ligament. But the one underneath is going to control this movement here, okay? Because obviously, with this taping over top, it's over skin, okay? It's not actually on the bone, holding the two bones together. So there is going to be some movement. So I'm doing sort of this taping here is acting like the functional part of what that ligament does by limiting the movement as well. I'd say that's going to be more effective. This is just an added bonus if she has any more pain. So let's see how that goes, and we'll follow her progress. See you next time.